Hone lovers, I've got an incredible video for you. We have two new products that are out on Hone, and we're gonna talk about it next, right now. Smoking, sous vide, sommelier-ish, ukulele, ukulele, J, and a few knives too with some knife sharpening. I wanna welcome you to this video because I'm so excited. As you know, I am absolutely a lover of the Hone rolling knife sharpener system. I have done numerous reviews, numerous head-to-head -head videos. I have done numerous sharpening videos. I have a lot of instruction guides on the Hone rolling knife sharpener, which will help you with any of your rolling knife sharpeners, but this one is absolutely the best in my opinion. Not only is the price value proposition extremely high, Hone has a fully complete system for you to use. A lot of companies have one grit or two grits. Hone has been inventing new ways to bring sharpening to the household. Kitchen knife people that aren't sharpening people love this system. And people that wanna get into sharpening their knives without any complexities. It does everything for you. It does the proper angle. And when you're done, you get the proper sharpness. So today I'm excited because we have two new products. 2000 diamond, not ceramic, 2000 diamond disc. The other thing, you're getting two videos in one today. I hope you guys appreciate that. Please make sure to like and subscribe uh, to your exclusive Hone videos. This is the new Hone extender. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. It looks like a baby sharpener base, but it's really not. We'll talk about that. The base has the holder for your sharpener and it has the feet on the bottom, feet on the top. You've got the 15 and the 20 uh, degree angles, which you can also adjust to any angle with the angle mate. We'll talk about that. And this is different. The reason it's different is because while it looks like this might be for sharpening, it's actually to connect to the sides and make sure you have the 15 and 15 lined up, not the 2015. And when you line them up, they stick together, make a nice tight bond. Your entire knife is really held securely. You can see the the guide in there. So love this thing. It actually uh, has the carve away for the knives. I really thought that a 2000 grit would fill out the entire line. So now we have the 400, the 700, the 1000, the 2000, and the 3000 ceramic. We also have the fantastic leather strop. So here we go on this test. So this is 179, still super, super sharp, but I'll take the 179 as a challenge and I'll see if I can get this down into the 100, low 100 range. So this knife, I can't remember what it was. I think it's a 15. So this knife actually scores out, it's a 13. Um, and I remember Japanese knives, they go down to sometimes even 10, but this is a 13. I want a 13. So to do that, the new angle is the 15 degree side 13 and I need two strips. So two strips under the 15 this time, the 15 degree, not the 20. So we're gonna take two strips. And now I have a 13 degree angle, which won't screw up this knife and will stay on that apex and hopefully get that sharper. So we're gonna take this and uh, change off this disc. We're gonna put the 2000 on here. So we have this measurement correct at 13 degrees. And let's go ahead and sharpen and see how we do. Oh yeah, you hear that? Oh, that's the sound. That's the sound of sharpening, my friends. So we know back here is where we got to work, right? I'm not going to focus too much on the front, but I'm going to focus where that roughness is. And we're going to do this for a little bit. Hear how that middle is already toning down? You've got pretty quiet up here and then a lot of noise back here. That's where I do all my chopping. We'll go ahead and put this back here like so. It does feel a little more, a little more edgy. And we'll take the honing. And this is so, I also feel when I roll. And if I feel anything catching at all, then after a couple times, if this doesn't feel buttery smooth, like, like literally like rolling over butter, then I go back to the 2000 now and I'll work on a little bit more to get that metal down. So now we're gonna hone this again on this side. That 2000 grit, uh, it's a, by the way, this is the first time I'm using the 2000, so you're very lucky you get to share this with me. And 
it's feeling, it really feels great. I mean, that 2000 grit, I mean, thank you, Hone. This is, this is amazing. All right, that's good. So we got that going. Now what we'll do is we're gonna go over and do our leather strop. Now, the one thing that's really cool is when it comes time to honing your knife, if you have a slick surface, get a couple of these strips and put them down and you've got something that's much less slippery than before. See where we're at, we'll tear it out so it's at zero. Again, we're gonna go towards the back of the knife. 107, 107. And that was with maybe a three minute quick sharpening. So this 2000 disc right here, absolutely to me is a must have. That is what I was missing in the line that really completes the hone line. Check out my other videos on hone. If you have any questions, drop them below. You'll see I answer all questions that I can if I know the answer. If I don't, I can talk to hone, but they have done a great job with this extender. Really is a nice unit. Same material, same heft. Uh, it's built, you know, like a tank. It's never gonna hurt anything. It's the rubber, so it drops. It's not gonna damage your wood floors. This is a must get, especially if you do the larger knives and you really wanna keep that knife edge super sharp. So what I recommend is every time you use the knife, I would now use just the 3000. And if it gets to the point where you notice it's, it's getting a little bit dull, then go to the 2000. You don't have to drop all the way down to the 1000 because the 1000 is actually roughing up that surface again. You're really kind of missing that gap. But now go to a 2000, one step down in the grit, and use that for the knife. You get that edge restored very, very quickly. And then with the hone, and of course with the leather strop, you probably won't have to actually sharpen the knife with a lower grit. And if you don't, you can drop down from the 2000 to the 1000 and go from there. And if you have a knife that's you know just really thrashed, then you go down to the lower grit you start with your 400 and you work your way up and do the 400, the 700, the 1000, the 2000, and then the ceramic, and then you would go ahead and do your leather strop. So again, it is a complete system. There's no need to buy anything else if you have all of this, if you want to do manual sharpening. So thanks a lot. I hope you do subscribe and like this video. And if you have any comments, please do drop them down below and we'll see you on the next one. Smoke on, baby!